explode. Is that a tasting glass? I want to know that too. <laughs> they taste like soy sauce. Alright, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through this. It's so so sad. Sad. <laughs> it doesn't have a bubble. Now I'm drinking ah. This is the next step in beer in Japan. Yeah, what's up? I'm Yuka from Vice Japan. We're here in Tokyo to check out craft beer culture. And this is... Hello, I'm Ogi. Craft beer is called Jibiru in this country. Back in 1994, strict laws changed and before that, you needed to brew 2 million liters of beer in order to get licensed. But since the law changed, now the craft beer culture is like pumping and pumping. So today we're gonna go check out, um, get drunk and just basically have fun. Yeah, it's a really nice neighborhood. I, I never really hung around in Nakano. It's all these like little bars and little nice shops and it's a good vibe. We're at Nakano Biru Kobo and we're about to go check out the Tokyo's DIY craft beer. Let's go. Let's go. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, it's really nice. Like everything, it's super DIY, no? Did you make everything by yourself? So this So you guys obviously make beer right there, right? Okay, can I can I see? Hi. Wow, it smells really nice. Mm. Okay, so how many stages to make a craft beer? First, こっちからこまかくしたやつがこの中に入るんですけど、それにお湯を入れて甘みを取る。それをこっちに移してきて、この蓋をさせるときにコップを入れて苦味とか香りをつける。いや、スモークライクウィー。スモークライクウィー。
こう78割が国産のクラフトビールになって、えっと、残りの23割がアメリカとかあとはヨーロッパのビールになりますはい乾杯おそらくは明治の頃だと思うんですけど一番最初に教わった人たちがイギリス人だったりドイツ人だったりするので割と素朴なものが大手さんの場合はもう本当にドイツスタイルを学んでそこから発展しているので今の,あの大手さんのラガーはピルスナーだったりドルトムンダーだったりっていうドイツスタイルが主流なのかなっていう割と日本人の女性ってちょっとずつたくさんとかいろんな種類があるものっていうのを好む傾向にあると思うんですうちのお店に来る女性のお客さんは男性より飲まれる方の方が合わないので<笑><笑>実はあのビールを作りに行ってきた帰りなんですけど。Can we get every single one of the tastings? やる人はなかなかいないですけどね。でも三回。Do it. Let's go the epic beer tasting. So they have what? 十二種類。十二種類。お待たせしました。Wow, sweet. Hey, come on. Cheers! 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 Oh, that's really strong. Oh, wow. You finished it. We made it. We made it. We made it. We fucking did it, yo. We made it. I fly for that. Damn. We did it. Let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now we're going to Wishitola in Shimokita Zawa neighborhood. And they call themselves Beer otaku, which wow. literally means beer nerd. So let's see what they have to tell us and what they have to teach us. So, first, hand pump no yona yona real ale. This is the first thing I want to drink. It's all natural. It's not a beer. It's 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 a beer. それがやっぱりリアルエールの特徴になりますねアルコールができるときに一緒に炭酸ガスも生まれるんですけどそれすらもこう抜きながら作っていきますまず一つはもう口当たりですね通常のビールっていうのは喉越しであったり爽快感あ
<laughs> yeah, those guys are pretty serious about their I know. Oh, and they're really like passionate about it. Yeah, like, it's got really all these uniforms. Yeah, so it's kind of and they look tight. really like legit. Yeah, they just look big. It makes it's sense that they call themselves the Zotaku. Totally. Yeah. We're here at Brima Beer Box, and I've never been here before, but now I see it and it just looks like a shipping container. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Yeah, I know. And this is our last stop, so I'm going to like go fucking <laughs> drunk. <laughs> 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 so it's like popcorn. <laughs> Obviously, I've never drunk in a shipping container. No, it's, a new, it's a new concept. Originally, uh, our store's uh, concept was to bring a lot of shipping containers to Japan for the small locations that you can't really build a building. So, yeah, what do you guys want? Yeah. All right. So, what would yes. you recommend? I'll take well, whatever what you drinks recommend. Do you want? Oh my god, it doesn't really matter like what we usually drink because like we've been drinking like from 10 o'clock. So you're a bit, you're a bit behind. I should have been drinking mid a.m. What do you mean? Wake up and joke. Fuck you. Okay, that was <laughs> do you I love where this is going. Okay. Uh, the Porter, which is our black beer. And this one in 2013, the All Japan Craft Beer Selection, which is kind of an MPO. Okay. That works in Japan. Right. It won the Grand Champion Award. It's a nice mix of caramel, chocolate, and coffee. Then today's specialty is red ale. It's got a little bit of a caramel malt, some, I think, pale malt as well. It's less hops than the pale ale in there, so it's got some different hops to uh, balance out with the malt. I usually don't like dark beer, yeah. because it tastes like soy sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of noticed that too, actually. Right? Uh, do you drink a lot of Japanese dark beers? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are very much, they taste very, Salty almost. Yeah, yeah it's a weird. Yeah. yeah. Everybody says the craft beer thing in Japan is like really booming so, right now. So, what do you guys think that like it's changed like since like ten years ago? Before 1994, you had to prove that you had a factory capable of making two million liters of beer. That's a large investment. Yeah. So after 1994 changed, it was uh, 60,000 liters. So you have to prove that you can make. The years following 1994, uh, once the law changed, there's about 400 companies that got the license. Right. Yeah. Okay. But a few years later, half, more than half of them kind of went out of business. Yeah. Craft beer in Japan, I think in 2013, it was less than half a percent of the total beer market in Japan was or is craft beer. Okay. So less than one percent. I heard that it's something like 96 percent yeah. of beer is yeah. like all major yes. mass produced. Yes, all major mass produced stuff. Yeah. So. Like I thought that literal translation of craft beer in Japan is jibiru. It can be. But you have a different opinion, right? So jibiru can just be anyone makes it. But craft beer, that's the stuff that you want. Also, I think from 2010, there's been less uses of GBU as a general blanket term, and there's more usage of craft beer. Interesting. So that craft beer is totally different. Like, right. you know, um, each brewery has a uh, own, like, a specific mantra. You know, now I'm drinking art. That's so it's, it makes me satisfied. So my hope is that someday I will have baby, you know, so baby gonna be grown. I will be like a very old guy, like, you know, my mustache gonna be here. <laughs> where he wants to so, come here. Let's do the beer. So I'd like to say, like, you know, yeah. not as a usual drink, as a Let's go to like a Rima beer. So here's my. Good. Uh -huh. what, what do you think is the future of craft beer scene in Japan? Like, so it's got, definitely it's gonna be big, yeah. it's gonna be bigger, but they're gonna be commercial. But yeah, so Japan's kind of, they're working on their own thing though, so that's pretty cool. And now we're looking at the evolution. So this is the next step in beer in Japan, especially for local small breweries. Yeah. We're going from local to craft beer. I don't come by you. Come by. So I'm, I'm officially a beer head now. Yeah. You yeah, know, we have learned so much about <laughs> Japanese craft beer. Yeah, we've learned so much about Japanese craft beer today, I feel like, because since we've been drinking like, what, like 12 hours? But honestly, I don't know if I can remember any of that, like all the knowledge I got today, because I am actually very drunk. And I think we need to get ourselves in the cab and go home. <laughs> Let's go home. Go. <laughs>